Old School on RealAirCulture.com is brought to you by Becker Underwoods Nodulator XL, DuPont Vertisin Fungicide, and Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. Now that inoculants are going to be moving from the retailer to on-farm, growers can really maximize rhizobial performance by helping to maintain those numbers. Uh, you've already made your inoculant purchase decisions and you're going to be going to pick it up in the next week or so. Once you get that product back to farm, if it's still in its retail packaging, you'll want to make sure to keep it in a cool location away from direct sunlight. If you have a granular type of inoculant, for example, you'll want to store it on a pallet raised off of the floor and away from direct heat sources like heaters, for example. Basically then picking up at the retail point and then uh, putting it in the back of your truck and keeping it there yeah. for the two weeks of uh, plant or seeding is not a very good idea. No, that's absolutely not a good idea, Sean. Liquid type formulations, for example, are the most prone to storage conditions, so they absolutely cannot freeze. Uh, the granular type formulations once they're in the warehouse, sitting on a pallet, away from heat sources, they're really well stored that way. An average temperature, somewhere around 8 to 10 degrees. Um, all inoculants should always be stored under 15 degrees Celsius. Can the effectiveness go to basically zero if you don't take care of the product? So with rhizobia, they are living organisms and they can be impacted. The two most important factors to, to control are temperature, exposure. You will not want to have it exposed to temperatures any more than 15 degrees Celsius and as well as uh, make sure to avoid uh, exposure to direct sunlight and any drying conditions.